Hi guys, this is The Advisor and welcome back to my channel. Now before I get into the main topic, there is something I've got to say. Um, there is this young man who I have been buying um, phone parts, phone cases, batteries, chargers, blah blah over the years. And I was passing through um, the city centre of Kingston. And I saw him a few days ago and I just had to big him up. Guys, I want you guys to just listen to me and Wally. And I want you, if you're ever in downtown Kingston and need anything that he has on his cart, please do support him. He's a good friend of mine, yeah? Now, listen to this. This is a few minutes that I spent with Wally. Hi guys, this is my brethren, Wally. Anything I want for my phone is in my country, you know. Wally himself, the man, always had a big tree. It's a big tree there, big tree right up here. Him with the right hand, a big tree. I'm going to give you a number and you can call Wally at any time. Because Wally, he have everything you want, want for phone, everything you want, want for phone, and I'm always the boat. All right, and a years me I do it well about twelve or more years. I'm always get what I want from him. Good, good man. So watch out for him. See him face there, international star. Right, yes sir. When I come a big tree, just say Wally. Amen. Yeah, Wally mean quality. Yeah man, yeah man. Me I tell you. All right. Now guys, on to today's video. Anybody who is going into a relationship, or who is in a relationship there are certain things one need to understand and it is in and I refer particularly to this case who remembered this case in in um, Manchester in 2019 when on New Year's Eve Andre Bramfield pumped five bullets into his girlfriend's face her name is Chantel White and killed her right on the spot and then gave himself up. Well, if we might remember, he was sentenced to about 18 and a half years or I think 18 years and 5 months, something like that. And he appealed, he pleaded guilty, but he appealed on the basis that the, uh, based on the circumstances, the um, sentence was excessive and guess what the, the the appeal judges agreed so instead of serving the 18 years and five months he um he got his sentence reduced by two years and some months so he will only be doing 15 years and seven months imprisonment which means that in another three years or so he be back on the road because he may do about eight out, out of it. I think he, he has done about going four out of it already. So he will get parole in about another three years. And in all honesty, while I do not support violence against women, I totally sympathize with Andre Bramfield. And I'm going to explain why. On December 31st, 2019, when I said December 31st, that's his New Year's Eve. And on New Year's Eve, he was in the lunchroom. For those of us who, for those of you who do not know of this case, the girlfriend, Chantel White, she was seated in the lunchroom and he came in and he was complaining to somebody, complaining to a, another co worker that. Um, his girlfriend was being disrespectful because she was kissing up a man in the lunchroom in front of him and he felt um, disrespected by it. What, what I mean, Brumfield entered the lunchroom and told one of his co-workers, which is a co-worker to the both of them, and he said, quote, me I got to tell you something that happened earlier today. Kido come in at the lunchroom and hug her up and kiss her on her cheek. 
I'm really not like that. Boy, how oh, 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 she do them kind of thing there? Why just the um the girlfriend just look pan him out of the corner of her eye and just say, I should have pan me lip him kiss me. It was at that moment that he just took out his life in firearm and just pulled the trigger several times non-stop. But what we need to understand, you know, it didn't start there. There was a time he noticed that this is a man who was taking care of her. He, he, he was working with the same company and what he did, he, do, he paid for her nails, he paid for her hair to be done, he, he made sure that she had groceries, she didn't even have to use her salary. He took, care, care, he took care of everything, even went as far as to buy a house and put her in. So the man was taking care of his business. He and her they were not living together. But he noticed that whenever he has been for a few months, whenever he goes to see her, she's not at home. And there were times that she kept disrespecting him. Once from she got the house and she got certain things and he had actually paid for a course for her to do um, accounting. And that payment was done in full. She, she stopped going to bed with him and everything and just tell him that she was just not in the mood or she was having a headache and all kind of things. And she was like sidelining him. But he just could not understand why. She started keeping her phone locked. And she became very, very secretive. He tried his best to talk to her. But whenever he tried to talk to her, is that she just went cold on him. She just ghosted him. While at the same time, anything she wants, she asked him for it. And he still continued to give it to her. And this guy, Kido, that was in the lunchroom. Andre Bromfield had learned that she got a partner draw. He was throwing a partner for her. Or she was throwing the partner, but he was giving her the money to do it so she could do it for herself. And she got a partner draw of over $200,000 and she claimed that she lent it, lent it to Kido, the same guy who was found in the lunchroom kissing her up. She and him had had an argument over it because they said, I gave you this money. I wanted to save so you could do certain things for yourself. And you take the 200 or 200 and thousand and lend it to somebody. And for several months, she, did, she couldn't produce the money because she just didn't get it back from Kido. And then it, re which means that she was using Andre money to mine Kido. Now, the last straw came when Kido actually come in front of him and bust kiss Panar right in front of him. And then now she know when he expressed his feelings towards it, what she do? She said, oh, I don't know. Now she'll have me lip him kiss me. In other words, what she said to him is, who is you? Who is you? Or what are you to say what I do with my life? After all, he wasn't anything. He was only a boopsy. To be frank wait with you, what Andre was going through was something that he was going through for several months. It wasn't like it started on that same day. He had been facing this for quite a while. Because there was even little after he got, um, she lent him money, so-called lent the money to Kido. He bought a vehicle. And it just looked like she was using Andre money to mine her real man, which is Kido. Now, when she got so bare-faced and come out with it like that and tried to just justify what she did, not even justifying it, but actually being so blatant and disrespectful, the man just flipped. And we can understand, he's human. So... There were certain things why the appeal, why, why the judges expressed a, um, a degree of leniency. And I'm going to explain to you. 
there are two things when it comes to courts and sentencing. The courts look into two things. The mitigating circumstances and the aggravating circumstances. The aggravating circumstances, let's look into that first, is that the court looks at how evil you are, your motives for um, doing what you did, how your character, your personality, and everything. And the, if you have a lot of things against you, well, they, they heighten your sentence because of that. And if there is a lot of good things about you, about your character, for example, Andre, he had no previous brushes with the law whatsoever. He was an upstanding member of society. Not only that, he was productive and he was a role model to the youths because he also ran a youth club. Along with that, he, <coughs> he did not, excuse me, he did not run from the police. After committing the act, of course, he left the scene. But the following day, New Year's Day, the following day, he actually went in to the police, turned over the firearm, and confessed to the crime. And he also showed remorse. When he went into the police, this is what he said. Me take up this girl and give her everything. Bill her all, all two-bedroom house. Pay off her credit card. And me realize that she have another man. Me see the youth a kiss kiss her up. Me talk to her and she had diss me up. Me just snap. Guys, Andre is human. Andre is human. And it, 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 it could happen to anybody. Everybody has a breaking point And he just reached his. <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't something that he had contemplated and planned to do or anything. It just happened on a spur of the moment based on what was happening at that specific time. And if I was ju a judge, I'm telling you, in the beginning, if I was the judge on that case or I was part of the jury, I would have sentenced him to 18 or 20 years, regardless of what he said. But here's the thing. I would never convict him of neither murder nor manslaughter. So then, if we now convict him of either murder or manslaughter, what would me want to send him to prison for? Well, in an ideal world, there would be a charge, there, there would be... A, a, a thing where you can convict a man for being a yamed. I would have given 20 years just for being a yamed. Not for murder. I would free him after that charge. Here is one important lesson that men on the whole need to learn. You cannot buy love. Love and loyalty and dedication and respect cannot be bought by any amount of money. And Andre was going too hard to buy this woman's love. You can't buy love. And when a woman, when a woman loves you, she doesn't pressure you for anything whatsoever once she loves you. She loves keto. That's why she takes your money and mine keto. So the lesson here, you know, is guys, do not be careful what you give to a, wo a woman do not give a woman anything that you need for yourself especially one that you are not married to once a woman is pressuring you for things and she when she, she, she get it she pressure you for more and keep asking you for things and asking you for things and to do things for her believe me that person more than likely is using you and you have nothing to get back. And you even gone as far as to pay for um to do for courses for her to do. The girl realized you were a yamhead and that you could be used, and she realized that you were free-handed because she good looking. You met the little looks because she good looking, you know, very good looking. Look at her photographs, and you met because of her looks, make you 
um, just fork out everything and give her. You should have been looking at character. There's no amount of money you can give a woman to make her loyal to you. If a woman wants to be loyal, she's going to be loyal. She's going to be respectful. She's going to be dedicated. And she's going to be committed whether you have anything to give her or not. That is how love goes. Originally, you know, when, when Andre was sentenced to the 18 years plus, um, the father of the of his uh, now deceased girlfriend, he was raving mad, saying, "How if you only get that? How if you only get eighteen plus years?" He probably want Andre to get maybe twenty five or maybe even get a death sentence. And he went over to the gleaner and he he was interviewed by the gleaner and by the observer. And, and I mean, said his piece about the light sentence and all of that. But to this blessed moment, he never told anybody. He never said, he never told anybody that he didn't support his, his daughter. She grew up without him and he never even supported her. It's when she was big that she had some, some kind of a relationship with him. Because I hear that he was even denying that she was his child. And yet now that she did all of a sudden, he is this, this nice loving daddy. But the saddest part of it is this. Him don't bring up anything about the evil things his daughter was doing. And how she played stupid game and won stupid prize. No, him sweep that part under the carpet. So you know that this man, he has no morals, no ethics, no principles. And so, uh, so therefore he's just virtually a husk of a man. He's morally bankrupt, empty. Guys, do not fall for this because a woman look good. And don't, make, don't let any woman use you. Give her only as little as you can. To find out if she loves you. Because you're not going to know if a woman loves you. If all you do is piling up everything she wants on her. She will use you. And no woman will respect you. If, she, if everything you ask her for you just jump and give it to her. Especially one who you're not married to. Or who you don't live with. All I'm saying out there is be ye careful guys. Be ye careful. And if there's anyone among you who disagree that. With, with what a sentence reduction he got. I sympathize with him. And I feel that he deserved a lighter sentence. Tell me in the comment section what you feel. Okay guys. Now like, share, leave a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.